Welcome back to our IB Biology video series. This is the second and final video in IB Biology Topic 5, Evolution and Biodiversity, where we will be looking at the binomial system, classification of biodiversity, and cladistics. The binomial system was developed by Carl Linnaeus when he wrote books on the known species of plants in 1753 and species of animals in 1758. This was later agreed to be the standard method of naming organisms during the late 19th century during one of the annual International Botanical Congress meetings. But what actually is it? Well, this is a way in which species are named with a two-part name, the first of which is the genus name, and the second of which is the species name. There are three strict rules that are used when naming in this way. The genus is capitalised and the species is not. The entire name is written in italics, and the genus name may be abbreviated to one letter if required. An example would be a grey wolf, Canis lupus, i.e. C. lupus. So you now know how organisms are named, but what about their classification? All organisms can be organised into groups, known as taxa. The eight main taxa follow a distinct hierarchy. Domain, kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. Remembered with the mnemonic, dumb King Philip came over for good spaghetti. The IB expects you to recall an example animal and an example plant for this hierarchy. Continuing our example of a grey wolf, it would be classified as Eukaryota, Animalia, Chordata, Mammalia, Canivora, Canidae, Canis, and Lupus. For a plant, we can use the giant redwood tree, classified as Eukaryota, Plantae, Coniferophyta, Pinopsida, Pinales, Cuprasaceae, Sequoia, and Giganteum. As you go down the hierarchy, they become more specific. As a result, the number of species decreases, but similarities between species increases. However, you must know much more detail on these taxa. Let's go through this now. There are three main domains in which all organisms are classified. Eubacteria, Archaea, and Eukaryota. The members of these groups are called bacteria, Archaeans and eukaryotes, respectively. For your IB biology exam, you are expected to further recall the classification of eukaryotes into plants, animals, fungi, and protoctista. These kingdoms are called plantae, animalia, fungi, and protoctista, respectively. In addition, you must know the division of plants into its four phyla Bryophyta, Felicinophyta, Coniferophyta and Angiospermophyta. The IB expects you to be able to recall some key characteristics of each of these phyla. These are presence of vegetative organs, vascular tissue, cambium, pollen, ovules, seeds, and fruits. Bryophyta have rhizoids but no true roots, whilst the remaining phyla all have vegetative organs. Bryophyta does not have a xylem or phloem, whilst the remaining phyla all do. Neither Bryophyta nor Felicinophyta have a cambium, whilst Coniferophyta and Angiospermophyta do. Neither Bryophyta nor Felicinophyta have pollen, ovules, seeds or fruits. Coniferophyta possesses pollen in cones and Angiospermophyta in anthers. Coniferophyta poses ovules in cones and angiospermophyta in ovaries. Both coniferophyta and angiospermophyta possess seeds, and coniferophyta do not possess fruits, whilst angiospermophyta do. This may seem like a lot of information, but by learning the patterns of tables, it can be easily memorised. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.